Hi, my name is Greg Ciola. I'm the president of Crusader Enterprises and also the founder of Seven Lights Nutritional Supplements. I wanted to make this uh, video quickly about organic sulfur. Uh, what is organic sulfur? There is hardly a day that goes by that I don't have to field a number of calls from customers because there's so much misinformation out there on the internet. Um, organic sulfur, we have been selling uh, for approximately three years now. We sell it under the product Sulfur Defense. Um, organic sulfur and MSM or methyl sulfonyl methane are one and the same thing. Uh, this is probably where a lot of the confusion comes from. Uh, the term organic sulfur is used because organic uh, means bioavailable in the body at the cell level versus an inorganic uh, non-bioavailable sulfur. Uh, both the US FDA and the US NIH both uh, refer to methyl sulfonyl methane or MSM as organic sulfur. So uh, don't be confused by the term organic. Um, it's not organically certified like a food supplement. Um, the, the thing that I tell people is uh, organic sulfur and methyl sulfonyl methane uh, are, are one and the same thing, just like water and H2O are the same thing. Methyl sulfonyl methane, or MSM for short, is the chemical name for organic sulfur, just like H2O is the chemical name for uh, water. So uh, I hope that uh, I can uh, alleviate a lot of the, the concerns and questions that people have based on that. Uh, let me get into something else that uh, is causing a lot of confusion out there on the internet. How is uh, organic sulfur made or how is MSM made? Basically, um, you have to start with uh, pure liquid DMSO. DMSO is, uh, is uh, a liquid form of sulfur and that's the starting material for all MSM in the world. There isn't any MSM that's out there coming from any other source. DMSO, if you take it, in a liquid form and you add an oxygen source to it, in most instances hydrogen peroxide, it creates a new chemical element called methyl sulfonyl methane or MSM uh, or organic sulfur, whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's how you get the starting material and that's how you create this new chemical element. It's not derived from a plant. You're not sticking a, a, a syringe up to a tree and sucking this stuff out. It takes a, a chemical synthesis process to make the product. Um, so you start with uh, pure DMSO, mix hydrogen peroxide with it, you create this new MSM uh, element. There's only one company in all of North America uh, that produces this product in the United States and it produces it through a process called distillation. Once you have this new MSM uh, crystal you have to purify it. And there's two ways to do that. There's one way called distillation. And very few companies are doing this distillation process. As I said, there's only one company in all of North America that does it this way. Um, and what you do is, once you take the, the crystal MSM molecule, you add distilled water back to it, bring it to a boil, and if there's any impurities, any bacteria, or any other things in there that don't belong there, it eliminates it. Um, and that's extremely important. Um, there's tons of people out there on the internet promoting sulfur and they say, oh, mine's the best. Mo, oh, mine's the best. Mine comes from this and mine comes from that. I'm hoping just to eliminate some of this stuff with these vid this video here because I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of dealing with all the lies and the deceptions that are out there on the product. Um, the most common method that's being used uh, is, a, is a very inexpensive method called crystallization. Don't confuse it with a sulfur crystal. Crystallization is just a way of getting the MSM into a crystal. I would say approximately 80 to 90 percent of the MSM on the market today or the organic sulfur being sold today is imported from foreign countries and they do not use a distillation method because the distillation method is a much more uh, expensive method. So if you are from China or some other country and you want to put out a really inexpensive MSM product and flood the U.S. with it, then you're not going to use distillation, you're going to use crystallization. And what the difference is, once you create that MSM from the DMSO with crystallization, what they'll do is just add water to it and basically 
uh, allow the water to evaporate so that the MSM crystal uh, can be taken out of that, similar to how you would take uh, ocean water and evaporate it and get sea salt out of it. What's the problem with that? If there's bacteria in the product, if there's heavy metals, if there's contaminants or anything else in the product, it could be a potential problem. So that's why I want to tell you that if you're going to use MSM, if you're going to use organic sulfur, you better make sure your product is made in the USA. And if it's not made in the USA, then make sure that it's made with a distillation process. As I said, our product here, 100% made in the USA. It goes through a four-stage distillation process to get it on the market. And the sulfur MSM crystals that we use in our product are the only MSM crystals on the market that have grass status. Grass meaning generally recognized as safe. None of the other MSM products on the market can make that claim. So if you're sifting around the internet and you're looking at this company saying, my sulfur crystals are the best and I have this organic that and my organic this sulfur, don't be deceived. Uh, there's also another huge lie that's out there on the internet. Um, there are so many websites and what they're all saying is, my sulfur is coming from Louisiana pine trees. Where did this start from? The source of DMSO uh, beginning back in the 1960s and for many years used to be obtained as a byproduct of the craft process or the paper, will, paper mill waste. They would take the waste but they never used just pine trees. It was all kinds of soft wood. There was a big plant in Louisiana and they would uh, run all kinds of soft wood through that plant and then they would have the waste product after they did all their stuff to make paper out of it they would take that waste, add different chemicals to it, and you could extract the DMSO or the liquid sulfur that was left in that product out. That's your starting point for making MSM. Uh, but companies that are saying mine comes from Louisiana pine trees, they're lying flat out. There's not a person out there that can validate that. There's not a person out there that can, can uh, support that claim. And if you're looking uh, for this stuff on the internet, I challenge you, call these companies, ask them, prove it to me, show me where it, where it is. Where does your DMSO come from? The largest supplier of DMSO in the world comes from Alabama. It's a company called Gaylord Chemical. And they're probably the supplier of the DMSO to just about any company in the world that's making MSM. And they do not make any claims about their DMSO coming from Louisiana pine trees. So where does DMSO come from? DMSO basically is made through a chemical synthesis process, but there isn't a lick of difference. DMSO is a chemical element, dimethyl sulfoxide, or DMSO for short. Uh, that's your starting point. So whether it came from, from the pulp of uh, paper mills or whether it's created through a chemical synthesis, it's still the same exact chemical element. So uh, don't be misled. Hopefully, uh, do some more research on your own on Google. You'll come up with this for yourself. Gaylord Chemical, if you want to look up their DMSO, their website is gaylordchemical.com. Um, let me see here. What else? Um, another uh, big lie going on with MSM is this crystal growth test. Uh, there's a bunch of people out there on the Internet promoting, my sulfur grows crystals, and that's the only provable method to demonstrate that my sulfur works and the others don't. Uh, the fact is, sulfur in itself is a crystal and it doesn't matter. The crystal growth test is, is a scam, okay? I fell for it. I promoted it when I first started selling sulfur because I was listening to all these other people on the internet and I thought that they were accurate and I realized that they're not. Um, if you take MSM, any MSM, even, even imported MSM, even MSM that hasn't gone through a distillation process. If you take it and add MSM to water and bring it to a boil, if you let it boil long enough on the stove, that water is going to burn off and all you'll be left with is a crystal. The crystal doesn't get deactivated. Uh, heat and different things aren't going to destroy that crystal. The MSM sulfur mineral is still a bioavailable active mineral. That's why you can run it through a distillation process numerous times to get rid of that stuff. Uh, this notion that somehow this, this sulfur is being destroyed 
uh, when they do this, it's not correct. So hopefully that's going to gonna, um, put an end to a lot of these lies that are being pushed out there. Um, I'm doing the best that I can with this website to give accurate quality information that will uh, educate the consumer so that you can take advantage of the sulfur benefits, especially our product, Sulfur Defense. I believe it's the, the purest, best source of sulfur on the market. Uh, also, we don't use any fillers, binders, excipients, flow agents, nothing in this product. It is just 100% pure granulated sulfur crystal flakes, MSM powder. 